here's something I've been thinking about. Um, there's stuff you don't want to admit about yourself, isn't there? <laughs> stuff that maybe, I mean, as you, as you, let's just, let's just call it like it is, as I, as I'm going through this process called life and uh, <laughs> starting to really work on starting. I have been, it's not that I'm starting, I've been working on, uh, on a lot of stuff. Um, like this morning I was talking about discipline, which is one of my, um, my alarms I set for myself to remind myself to stay present. What seeds are you watering? What seeds are you neglecting? The seeds that I am watering is self-reflection and sharing and growing and learning. The seed that I am neglecting is self unawareness, right? Ignorance of self. There's another, but there's a better term for that, I'm sure. I know, but I don't, I can't think of it right now. So, uh, my point is, I was talking earlier about um, self discipline and like practices to strengthen that muscle. But, and what I sort of started to talk about, goodness gracious. Ooh, ooh. Names of dudes. So uh, what I sort of started to talk about was how um, you know, in order in order for me to work on self discipline, like I kind of have to admit to myself that I'm not disciplined. While I knew that, I don't think that I really knew that to the depth to, to which I know it now, and I think I'm going to know it even more as time goes on. But for a long time, I have not been disciplined. And I, you know, like, you know it, but then you're like, uh, well, okay, I know it. But then at the same time, I'm like, okay, well, yeah, but I mean, that's just been some things, you know what I mean? Like, I, I'm, I'm not like completely undisciplined, you know, like I'm completely undisciplined, <laughs> completely undisciplined people. Like, you know, they're just, they're irresponsible with money and they just don't know, you know, their lives are kind of a mess and then it's like oh wait <laughs> oh wait right right yeah no that um that tracks that tracks um so but you know i also think of self-discipline as being like a willful thing like well obviously it is a willful thing but being undisciplined is a willful thing whereas it's actually what's willful is, is being disciplined, but that's a kind of a digression. Um, the point is that like, you have to, you have to be ready to be honest with yourself about your flaws, right? About the things that need to change if you want to get better. And if you want to be a better person, want to continue to grow, you have to know what to work on. And in order to know what to work on, you have to be honest about the things that you're not so great at. So I was thinking this morning about discipline and how I have to build that. I have to work on that. Oh, oh, oh. I don't know who that is. We're not going to answer them right now. Nope. Um, so what was I saying? Um, yeah, so I had to kind of really kind of come to terms with the idea that I am not a disciplined person. And that, but you know, in a way that actually gives me a little bit more freedom, not in a way it does. It gives me more freedom knowing that I'm not a disciplined person, like really admitting that to myself, like, Hey, no, it's not just a little bit. Like you're not disciplined at all. <laughs> like, okay. Yeah. That's, that's something I'm ashamed of. It's something I'm embarrassed about, but instead of letting that, Ooh. instead of letting those feelings the shame and the embarrassment guide my behavior and which makes me push that feeling and that thought away right um if i admit it and i can kind of laugh about it i mean it's the results of it not so laughable but the fact that i that i kind of think that i'm not or i thought that i'm not Unself-disciplined, or the thought that I thought 
that I was at all disciplined is funny. Because <laughs> clearly, I mean, I, I don't want to admit it. I don't. It's embarrassing. And I, I anybody who sees this, I know people, some of the people who do end up watching this, uh, I don't want them to think less of me. But, um, like, let's just be honest, right? Discipline is not my forte. Um, currently. That's our words. Up until this moment right now, I had not in the past been disciplined. From this moment forward, from this morning's moment, from this morning, from this morning forward, after I got out of bed because I did hit the snooze button, from that, that kind of time around that moment after the snooze and the getting up, I, um, I am no longer that person. I am a disciplined person. Um, I just, wow, I just got off topic. Got off topic, but that is nothing new. Um, but let's just back up. So there is shame and regret and embarrassment and guilt. Anything else? Surrounding the idea that I'm not disciplined because it's definitely not my ideal. My ideal is being disciplined. Um, and that's also why I need to lose some weight. Um, sorry, I got distracted. Uh, so I can admit that to myself, that I'm not disciplined. And because instead of pushing that away because of all the negative emotions I have surrounding it and I, I can admit it because if, when I pushed it away, that means I couldn't work on it, right? Oh, why'd it get so dark? Um, when I pushed it away, right, and I was like, no, 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 that means I couldn't work on it. That means um, if I refuse to touch it or go near that, it means that I couldn't fix it. But now that I'm like, you know what? I'm pretty undisciplined pretty undisciplined. I can actually work on that. That can be something that I actually can work to improve. Um, because, you know, it's like, if, for instance, your car needs some maintenance and you choose to ignore it, your car's not going to get the maintenance it needs, right? Not that anyone I know would do that. Um, but if you admit that your car needs maintenance and you're like, Hey, I got to take this into the shop and probably get the oil changed and whatever AQ means on the dashboard, not that I'm doing that right now. If I admit that, if I go in, I can get it changed. I can get this stuff fixed and you know what? Probably avoid problems in the future. So maybe I should take the car in. Um, but if I can admit that I'm undisciplined, that means I can work on being disciplined. Um, another thing that I was bringing into this mix, this idea of admitting to yourself something you don't like about yourself so that you can work on it, is I was um, I was thinking about my money blueprint. And, you know, what I've always sort of thought about money, because we all need it, right? We all want it because we want freedom that comes along with having enough of it. Um, but I was thinking about like how I feel about money and I don't know why I never really, this never really occurred to me before because I've thought about my money blueprint before. Um, read Secrets of a Millionaire Mind, T. Harbecker, uh, if you want to know what, what I'm talking about as far as money blueprints. But there was an incident, well, it's not one incident, there were several incidences in my family that had to do with the greedy people um, wanting more money and the things that they've done and thought and said because of it. And it's not about the money though, right? It's about their flaws. It's about, <laughs> yeah, no one's perfect. I mean, right, I'm just admitting right now that I am certainly not perfect. But some people 
are not nice <laughs> because they want more money. Not because of money, but because they want more of it or feel, or because they're coming from a, a mindset of scarcity, right? They're coming from a mindset of scarcity. Anyway, the point is, some of my relatives have done things that I am not happy about. Uh, and uh, I'm really angry about it. Like, like a deep soul anger that um what did I write down? I wrote it up. Um like the soul like when I start thinking about it, like my entire body gets like ah right and um and I really want to let them know what I what I think and what I feel, but I don't because my mom says please don't say anything, just let it be. Which, you know, Irish Catholic we have our faults. We like to leave things alone so that they fester and get bigger and nothing ever gets solved. Whereas, you know, it might take a few a few words and, and the problem could be solved, but we don't like to talk about it. So don't talk about it. Um, but I'm, you know, I'm, I'm respecting her wishes. So I don't, uh, I don't indulge that part um, of myself to my relatives. But I do on occasion get very angry on it, about it when I'm by myself, and then I will kind of have this huge diatribe out loud, like that's just anger, and there's this feeling of satisfaction of being like so angry about it, and I don't really know what the satisfaction is, uh, and I don't like, don't really like that about myself, so there's an anger issue that I'm having that I need to figure out, but again, if I didn't admit that this was a problem, like yeah, sure, we're right, I'm right, I'm right, there are a lot of times when I'm right. <laughs> There are a lot of times when I'm wrong, but when I'm right, I am really right. And in this case, I am really right, and they are really wrong, and it makes me so angry because of, of what has happened because of it um, to the whole family. But we won't go in there. We're going to stop right there. We'll stop right there. Boop. Um, but the, the fact is I'm angry, and there's a, a weird satisfaction I get out of being that angry about it and start and like when I talk about it to my friends or something like that like it's just it just comes out it's rah, 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 rah. and I just it feels like it just it feels like I mean yeah I'm letting it letting it out I'm talking about it and you know of course that always feels better to talk about something but I don't know there's an anger issue there that I need to think about and if I didn't recognize it I couldn't work on it that's the point right there and that is it so I hope if you stuck with me that I've given you some food for thought and not been too boring. So that's my deal for today. And remember, you can always choose to have a grateful day.